Try to have this wing. Good so. The videos that I put up on my uh, channel here are the videos that I wish somebody else would have done so that I could just listen to them. <laughs> but there's nobody else who's done this kind of research. Which is why I had to do it myself. So yeah, I get to do exactly what I've wanted to do. Or actually what I wanted somebody else to do. So I could be lazy. And just learn from somebody. But nope, I had to learn it myself. So, comment reply video time, because I saw Jasmine. Jasmine gets preference. She studies. She does research. And so I'm addicted to her comments and questions. I need my fix. Need my Jasmine fix. Uh, I am concerned. I am well aware of those who comment. And I remember you. I have associative memory. And so, uh, yeah, I'm aware when certain people are not commenting. I hope they're doing okay. There are some who have uh, been emailing me also. And so I'm well aware of their, their pattern of communication. Just like Jasmine, she's now a part of that pattern of communication because I'm addicted to her. <laughs> I go through <laughs> Jasmine deprivation when I don't hear from her. <laughs> but uh, of particular concern uh, is Frederick. Uh, I'm aware of his circumstances and situation and aware of his last comment. And so I'm a little concerned for him as uh, it's been a long ride as he's been wanting to get to Zion and, and getting impatient like I am <laughs> as we're almost there but as I was concerned would happen it looks like there still is a potential for an extension And so, I, another person I'm concerned of is uh, Stanford Graham. He uh, had been uh, commenting regularly as he was actually applying the things I was talking about with his own personal research and study and uh, commenting what he had learned and haven't heard from him in too long of a period of time. And, I sent him an email, still haven't heard back from him, so yeah, I'm concerned. <clears throat> I hear in the news that there are just far too many Utahns, and not just people in the world, who are dying and getting into accidents and, and trouble and such. So yeah, I'm well aware of all of you. But most of all, I'm concerned about Mormons. Because I am one of you. Born and raised in the covenant of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And because of when I went to seminary, I was taught to study. Not read, ponder, pray, and get a feeling. I have seen the transition away from study. And I know the consequences. You need to study. But the prophets have great hold over your heart and your mind, even when you leave the church. Because Mormons who leave the church receive the same information that Mormons did. It's just that Mormons who stay in the church got a certain feeling that it's true. Mormons who got a feeling of 
this isn't true, they leave. That's the only difference between a Mormon and a former ex-Mormon. I am not hearing from anybody who is actually studying, like Jasmine and, and uh, Stanford and uh, certain others. All of Scripture, yes, even the Bible, teaches us to use science and logic in our study of the scriptures, in our life, to become better people. And it is abominable that those who claim the Bible as their guide in life have chosen instead to practice contrary to what the Bible teaches. You know, love, Nonviolence. Don't steal. Don't murder. Don't commit adultery. And they think that they're justified in violating their own Bible that they claim that they love and know to be literally history true. I mean, stolen it from the Jews. And so, yeah, I'm concerned with those who have left the church because you guys can benefit from my videos as well, even though I'm trying to convince Mormons that the church isn't true. And you too, because it was all about a feeling while you left, you don't listen to me when I try to say Joseph Smith had nothing to do with any of what the church is claiming he did. You can't believe it because you know of certain documents and you have no clue that they were forged documents, that they were people who were Danites who lied. You're not able to discern when a person is lying to you, when a forged document has come along. But yet you're all laughing hysterically about Mark Hoffman fooling the prophets of the church with a salamander letter. You're not able to make the connections. So, let us begin. I shouldn't go too long, because I've got other things that are, are an emergency situation that need to be done. <laughs> so, uh, we have one that was flagged. Corrections 101, and he's got the Punisher skeleton head, skull, on lost manuscript of Joseph Smith's 1831 Law of Tithing found. So you want to keep a secret from the Mormons, you put it in a manual or on the Joseph Smith Papers site. And so, for that revelation that Joseph Smith actually did have a Law of Tithing, published for us and was actually in our Doctrine and Covenants 1831 even though section 119 says nope Joseph never said anything about it nope this is the first time <laughs> and it's on priestcraft <laughs> and it's an extortion racket <laughs> and it's seditious conspiracy Judas money what? Joseph, huh? God. So he's saying you are really retarded. Beam and Moat. I really do need to do another video teaching you about the Beam and the Moat. It's just... Why? Why, why, why? And so we have James Law Rossi. He did two comments on two separate videos. The first one was 1980's LDS Youth of the Noble Birthright. That's where I go over my life. I was intending to do another video and then it veered off track, so it became another video. <clears throat> so I was telling you about how I was taught to study and how the church treated me and punished me for doing what they taught me to do. 
And so James says, there's no noble birthright to a cult founded by those who would promulgate polygamy and deny the true value of the Trinity. <sighs> yes, you too, Christians. You too. Get the hell off my channel. You know nothing of the subject matter. You heard things. You believe the lies. And now you're pushing Trinity? I, I, we have the internet. You can Google search the origin of your Christian church now. Rather than find a book that gives it to you. The first creed of Christianity. Which means this is when Christianity was created. You can read for yourself that your church is a fraud and anti-Semitic. And yet, just like a Mormon, <laughs> they won't. <laughs> Homozion is Trinity. It means, by definition, not real. The reality of Trinity? Get the hell off my channel. And so, yeah, again, he's pushing Christianity in this next one. Lost Manuscript of Joseph Smith's 1831 Tithing. Who cares? <laughs> you should care. This is the distraction that Brigham Young purposely caused. Because... Just like with ex and former Mormons who just got the wrong feeling, same with Christians and Islamists and others around the world. They automatically get the wrong feeling about the church. Well, that can't be true. That must be a cult. <laughs> oh, you say Joseph was a polygamist? Well, that's wrong. Joseph is evil. you do not understand why the church is lying to us. You do not understand that they want the kingdom of Jesus. The church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is an apocalyptic occult, not a cult, because they turned Joseph Smith's learning of the Jews with the Book of Mormon learning of the Jews into Christian Jesus. Just like Constantine did to the Bible of the Jews. All of the Jewish scriptures and not all of them were accepted by Christians into the Latin Vulgate which was first and then the Septuagint followed based on the Latin Vulgate. And so who cares? You should care. What do you see going on in our nation right now? As a Christian, and you claim to be the true Christian, he is a non-true Christian who made up a cult for his personal pleasure. Really? Are you sure? You come to my channel and you Joseph Smith explain me You as a Christian are seeing things happen that appear to be similar to what the prophecies of the latter days are talking about. Right? Evangelicals are frothing at the mouth over this. They're all excited that Jesus is about to come and that Trump is going to lead them into Zion turn America into an evangelical nation. Right, Mormons? <sighs> yeah, everything that's happening is according to Christian interpretation. 
They are overthrowing the government, being the bad guys. Right, Mormons? And so, if the church also wants their kingdom back, and the church is far more filthier rich than Christians are, even the Catholics, who do you think's going to win in the end? Those who have the money. Everybody needs to fear and tremble with what's going on, but you can't because you're blinded by your false religion. Not real. Muzion. <sighs> okay. Should we save Jasmine for last? Maybe I should have just done Jasmine comments. She has three of them here. I'm really excited. <laughs> and I'm realizing that now that I'm 16 minutes in, I think I'm botched it from the beginning. Sorry, Jasmine. I miss you. <laughs> okay. Breaking bombshell LDS church news. Mass exodus will save the Jasmines for a special one after I get the emergency needs taken care of. So maybe tonight. Maybe it'll have something to do with the church news video or maybe there won't be church news today. And I can do Jasmine instead. Breaking bombshell LDS church news. Must. Must what? And they edited it. And you laugh like a madman. Really? You know what a madman laughs like, do you? Beam and moat. They're God. Why is it so hard? The golden rule. Do you not believe in that either? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And so apparently this guy wants to be humiliated and disgraced and shamed and bullied until he commits murder. A suicide. God must. I know that's an ad hominem. Really? So you're knowingly doing this? Oh, God. But. There is no buts. You've acknowledged you used a fallacy. Your whole claim now is null and void. <laughs> there is no buts. It's over. The debate is over. You blew it. You know you blew it. <sighs> That's what you look and sound like. Do you not understand what a fallacy is? Did you not take the bait? You claim to know ad hominem. Is it just something you heard somebody else say? <laughs> you can't use this as an argument. It's just stupid. Can you give any kind of proof to any of your claims? I'm not making any claims. The church is making the claims. This was a church news video. The church made the claims. <sighs> dumbass. He knows about fallacy arguments. And yet, he's playing me for dumb as if I don't know what a fallacy is. <laughs> I have no clue what a beam and a moat is. That sounds weird. What's a moat? <laughs> Is that a thing around a, 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 a castle with alligators and dragons? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Let me teach you a little thing about proper, sound, logical argument. You have to develop a thesis statement in which the sentences that follow, the paragraphs that follow, all are deductively sound to lead to the conclusion. 
and many of them have math proofs for this formulae. This was way back in the days of Socrates and Plato and Aristotle from where we got this with the Enlightenment period. And so you have to be thorough. You can't miss a key premise because your conclusion is now faulty. We can't believe you. We can't trust you for telling us the truth. And so when you're in debate and you're trying to claim, for example, pro-life or pro-choice, if I were the pro-choicer, all I do is go to the Constitution, 14th Amendment, Section 1. Quick, easy, automatic win. But nobody talks about it. Why? Because a fetus, according to the Constitution, has no rights until our Supreme Court of the United States of America overturned Roe v. Wade. Now all of a sudden they have rights. And women don't anymore. But women are being deceived by the progressive deep state Dems into thinking, well, we can just get it on the ballot for the 2024 election. And we can get it. We can get our rights to choose. You're ignoring the Constitution you already had. What the Supreme Court did was an act of seditious conspiracy. They overthrew the government. They did coup number two. And so, when the church makes the claim that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ, I don't have to prove that it's not. All I have to do is prove well, I don't have to prove that it's the learning of the Jews. All I have to do is prove that it's not another testament of Jesus Christ. So all I have to do, 1 Nephi, chapter 1, verse 2, learning of the Jews. That's not Christian religion. That's not Christian Christ. It's not Constantine's first creed, which said that the Bible is now literal history and therefore is evidence of the facts. Of the reality of Jesus, who's Hamuzion? Huh? <laughs> this is why Christianity and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints don't like science, don't like logic, must use fallacy, must use lies. I want to send us back into the dark ages. And so I don't have to give any proof. I've already proven it. And in fact, I, I don't, this was not the Kieran one. Uh, this was the mass exodus. Because, yeah, I, I told you that after their meeting, and I don't have to prove that they have meetings, the church already did. If you're not going to follow the church news, it's on you. <laughs> if you're not following me all these years, then you missed that video. And so, yeah, it's an established fact. The church has told us they have meetings on Thursdays at 10. And I can tell, I can tell there's a person who puts a thumbs down on every single video. And I can tell when they miss a day and have to go back the next day to get them. I can tell 
what time frame their church is on Sundays. Last year, it was 11 o'clock. Because <laughs> after 1 on 15, there they are. <laughs> I look for patterns. And so, no, I don't have to prove that the Book of Mormon is the learning of the Jews, because it already is. First Nephi, chapter 1, verse 2. That's what it means. There, there's the proof. <laughs> the church, by putting in another testament of Jesus, is a fallacy. And it's a malicious fallacy. And so he continues on, you say, blame the church. Yeah. Spencer W. Kimball put it on in 1982. Established fact, the church tells you this. But I'm not seeing any solid evidence presented. This is not a solid evidence channel. This is a vlog. I'm talking to you, not with you, because it's not live. You are not on the other end of the screen. And so all I'm doing is warning you. But yeah, occasionally I'll do evidence videos. I'll throw them in. Just the other week. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be watching the rest of this. And it's so far a breakout video. Cool. Jasmine is my muse. Wow, was it that long ago? Two weeks ago. Five Armageddon purge pillars of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. There's evidence right there on the thumbnail picture. It's an hour and six minutes, 49 seconds. The five articles of Armageddon purge. There's the documents signed by Heber J. Grant and Harold B. Lee. Those documents alone should chase Mormons out of the church. But YouTube has silenced this video. 69 views in two weeks. Huh. And so it's not on me if you're not going to follow me. It's not on me if you're not going to do your own research into the church. You are a lazy learner and a lax disciple. I'm willing to bet you have no clue where that quote comes from. <laughs> and so here's a, a clue as to what he's actually talking about. Because I don't memorize what I say. It just comes off the top of my head. And occasionally I'll throw in video evidence. But the majority of the videos, the pictures and thumbnails, they have props. So that when you see them, you're supposed to go, oh, okay, so it relates to this. Uh, the unicorn one, using cancel culture to defend the church. See a unicorn with a Salt Lake Temple. And if you feel it, it is truth. That's the meme. So when you listen to the video, you hear that it was a comment reply video to a guy who called himself Unicorn. And they were attacking me on Carly's channel. And it could be a girl. And Unicorn called me a troll. <laughs> Why is the beam in the heart beam in the moat the most difficult of doctrines for anybody to understand? <laughs> but uh, he must is saying 
how is the church ultimately responsible for what you say killed those kids? And I've been doing that in other videos to remind you that I've already done it in a fuller video explanation. 2019, Nelson comes out and says, hey, I've rigged the algorithms in the search engines. Agit Pi destroys net neutrality. And so here we are. What were the kids who were committing suicide on social media, what were their parents doing paying attention to those in charge of social media in Congress? What was it all about? Comment replies to those teens. And teens who are not getting popular, and so they take it personally. Teens who are getting thumbs down and takes it personally. Teens who get comments about how ugly they are and how they need to go kill themselves and laughing at them for doing a try-on video or for being who they are and doing what they love on a video to share with the world. As algorithms are silencing their voice. I have seen it as I look for women's fashion on YouTube. I find a regular person who's not a por former porn star <laughs> doing YouTube fashion. I am surprised at how many there are. But regular women and young women are doing fashion, or they do video channels. And I see the difference when they're talking about something they like and having a discussion, low views. But then they do a fashion clothing for what they're wearing for the new semester at school. <laughs> Without fail. And I see how these girls respond after getting high number of views and low number of views. There is a lot of pressure put on. And the church, by manipulating the algorithms and the search engines so that the church gets dominance, is a big part of this. But the church, yeah, you're right. They can claim that, you know, hey, we had nothing to do with this. They got distance because they're the major donators through the stock market who tell the board or the CEO how to run their business to generate more profit for the church's stocks. The church is the major stock investor in the stock market they control the stock market companies thus they control social media they're the reason why I don't get the number of views I should be getting if you see my most popular there's quite a big difference now seven years ago the church is responsible for the thumbs up and thumbs down. The church is responsible for all the bleeping commercials on other people's videos rather than keeping them on their own channel. The church is responsible for allowing white supremacist hate on social media because it generates a lot of revenue. Thus for the stock market. YouTube's been in trouble in the news lately for this again. Not 
just Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and porn. X porn. That means softcore porn. That means that there's only naked people in there and you can see the, the genitalia. Do you want me to explain this for you? There's X, 2X, and 3X. <laughs> I'm aware of this because of my peers. <laughs> Back in grade school. <laughs> Parents weren't going to teach me sex ed. They did. And so, yeah, there's a reason why the church has their website, but focuses on Instagram now. They don't really do much on Facebook, and especially not YouTube much anymore. <laughs> there are reasons. So, yeah, I don't have to explain any of this to you. It's on you. If you cannot recognize that the church is false, and then follow that through, it's on you. What does it mean for the church to be false? Why are they lying? What are they covering up? And nobody wants to go there, apparently. Annette's life, and she's a public subscriber. In a fury, Mormons nick the pricks. <laughs> She's saying we are getting these pricks apostatizing on a Facebook group of where I live, and it is frustrating. So you have a Facebook group, and you subscribe to my channel, which means you know I'm warning about the church, right? And so your Facebook group is doing the same type of thing, right? And you say, we are getting these Mormons who are illiterate of their own Book of Mormon illiteracy, and they're apostatizing on a Facebook group, and it's frustrating. So I guess you're saying that they've just left the church and they're finding your Facebook group and they clearly are still illiterate. Yeah, that could be frustrating. <clears throat> the Army. Lost manuscript of Joseph Smith's 1831 Law of Tithing. Who the Bleep are these idiots spending all this time investigating the LDS church. Why wasn't this flagged by YouTube again? Oh, right. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints told YouTube Mormon employee not to flag this guy. Go get a job or hobby or something. Even better, go get laid. Apparently, you're not female. <laughs> That's got to be the worst humiliation for a guy. You're there with a woman, and she tells you, you need to go get laid with someone else. <laughs> so you can focus on something else. Why wasn't this flagged, YouTube? Why wasn't it flagged? <sighs> I spend my time because you're in danger trying to save your life, Mr. Army Man. Lost manuscript. And so are you saving us by being in the Army? Or being the Army? Nope. Lost manuscript of Joseph Smith. Harry. H-E-R-R-Y, not H-A-I-R-Y. Wow, anti-Mormon in action. Really? 
you don't know about the Beeman mode either, or is it just illiteracy? You are anti-Mormon. Against Joseph Smith. Because Joseph Smith's law of tithing, and he's saying, I'm an anti-Mormon. Because I'm not accepting the reality of section 119. Because he's apparently illiterate and can't understand what section 119 is saying. <sighs> Dear God. Uh, Carol Yearsley has another PDF for me. Okay, cool. Uh, Sir Apes a Lot. Well, this ought to be good. Lost Manuscript. I wonder if this is a new breakout video at the moment. You seem slightly unhinged. Oh, yeah, that one woman who worked under the Trump administration was also on his TV show who wrote the title as Unhinged. So you're calling me Trump, huh? Well, you do say my friend. <laughs> I wish you the best. Get the bleep out of here. And Trial by Faith has a number of stuff. Awesome. Okay. You now get special attention here. I'll do a separate one just for your comments. My goodness. <laughs> Definitely. Jasmine first, then you. Priorities. Uh, Eric Steele. Lost Manuscript. Your smugness and laugh. Really? Ad hominem. But. <laughs> Make you almost unwatchable. Almost? So you were able to get through it, huh? Oh, good. Even for an awakened prior Mormon. 24 years ago, who is genuinely interested in some of your information. You gotta take all of me. <laughs> See, you can't pick and choose what you want to believe. This is the problem that the church gives you. Feelings. You pick and choose what you feel is true. And you ignore the rest and stay in the church. Or... Leave the church because you got the other feeling. You pick and choose what you want to believe and pick and choose what you want to watch. And have to endure. Is this how you deal with a marriage relationship? Dear God, it's doomed for failure. If you choose a woman to marry, you're in it for the long haul. You can't say, I'm listening some of the time, dear. But your smugness and laugh <laughs> causes me to put in the headphones and the sunglasses and try to deceive you into thinking I'm listening, or deceive you into think into believing I'm listening. No, I can't do that. You just don't know me. I am a unique person with a unique nature and character. And so you are not familiar with me. And that unfamiliarity is what's causing you to not like it. Because it's not what you are used to. This is a form of hate. And so I really don't want you to watch any more of my videos, even though you put a little heart at the end. I think your ego, something is seriously off with you. However, that doesn't mean you aren't sharing accurate information. If you would just change. <laughs> and I've gotten this from women when I was starting to date. They treat me like this too. And yes, it's all Mormon women. It is fully your prerogative to be however you want. Yeah. Notice how other people put on their best performance, like 
a first date, they lie. <laughs> and so, if you can trick the other person into marrying you, all of a sudden, you tell the truth now. And the other person's going, what the hell? This isn't the person I married. Because you lied during the dating relationship. You weren't yourself. You didn't let them see who you are. And here I am, being genuine and who I am. And yeah, lots of people don't like me. And they don't know me. This is the first time they've seen me. So yeah, it's difficult for them. They can't love. They're full of hate. This is white supremacy. This is elitism. You're not culturally appropriate. You are not politically correct. You're not ethically moral. You know, the same white supremacist stunts that now progressives are using. And the cancel culture. It's all part of the same thing. We don't approve of your nature and character. We demand you change or we're going to cancel you. This is threats. This is bullying. If you want to hear the message, you got to hear the messenger. Uh, I'm sorry, Moroni is your name, not Nephi, not Emmanuel, not Malachi. Well, I, I, I'm not comfortable with your see-through robe. I wish you would cover up because I'm just not going to listen to you until you put some clothes on. <laughs> Did you know about that, Jasmine? <laughs> See, Jasmine wants nothing to do with dick pics. <laughs> but the second vision <laughs> oh my god hilarious <laughs> see like I said I do the ta the videos I like that I wanted to know about and nobody else knows the information so I had to do it myself and so this is all exciting for me. And to have people who say, well, yeah, it's exciting to me too, but I just don't like you. Get the hell off my channel. Seriously. Just telling you one person's perspective from watching you only a short time for the first time. I'm sorry for whatever happened to you that helped shape why you are how you are today? Bleep you! I wish you all the best regardless, heart. Get the hell off my channel. He even edited it. Dear God. Uh, Cindy Piper has a couple. We're almost to an hour and I'm going further than I wanted. Still have 40 minutes on that. In plain sight, I have to repurchase it. I purchased it uh, online and recorded it, only to find out that recordings suck when it was far too late. And so this right here is all of the movies and TV shows that I need to upgrade. So yeah, uh, Reversal of Fortune, when I did the video talking about it the other day, the other week, I don't know how long ago it was, <laughs> I put it in the, the description below and then put a comment in uh, pinned in the video uh, about uh, bonus points for anybody who can figure out what all of those things had to do with the video. Reversal of Fortune was being shot on location 
on Flatbush in New York, just down the block from where I was on my mission. And so that movie, even though I've never seen it, I've recorded it, and so I don't trust the quality, and so I have just bought it because it's part of my history and who I am and how I am. And so, Cindy Piper. Uh, in a fury, Mormons nick the pricks. Your videos confuse me. So many clips that don't really coincide. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. They do. Cindy, I see the big picture. I'm trying to help you with these pictures if you don't like my nature and character in the videos. They do. Keep watching. And so on the second one, I have learned for myself that Brigham Young's church is not Joseph's. I am so confused by your videos. I don't understand them. What are you trying to say? Really? I have learned for myself that Brigham Young's church is not Joseph Smith's and is false. That confuses you, huh? Cindy... Do I need to have Jasmine reach out to you and help explain this for you? <laughs> Jasmine's not Mormon. I saved her. And so, yeah, I can use it against Jasmine if I want and say, you owe me, Jasmine. <laughs> you must do me a favor, though. But she studies. And because she studies, she's catching on and figuring things out. And she's not confused. <sighs> okay. Apparently. Is that her? with the little girl, or is it the little girl that's Cindy Piper? <sighs> Interesting. And then she has some ABC4 News stuff on here. Donna and Vammer in, in, in vitro mix-up. <sighs> so are you a single mother then? Is that what I'm guessing here? You joined April 19th, 2021. So after, well, right in the midst of COVID. And you're younger than I am, 1979. Well, you're just a little girl. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently you were on YouTube to try to make money and it didn't work out for you, I guess. Well, yeah. You need to do a fashion try-on video and then you'll get popular. So, yeah, you gotta study, Cindy. Can't use feelings. I am only going to delete your comments. Because you apparently are trying, but you're still getting confused. Yeah, the videos I'm doing now have prerequisites for them. I'm now over 3.5 trillion. 3.5K. Hi. Uh, and then section 19, Debbie. Shush. What total crap are you talking about? Really? That's a different approach than Cindy's. You get banned. And then Jasmine. Yay, we're done. So we got uh, Trialed Faith and Jasmine. Jasmine gets priority. And ugh, it's almost 4 o'clock, so this is an hour. And then Carol Yearsley to get that link. Which is 87 pages. The truth about Xars. The so-called Jews distinguish 
in between the Jew and Hebrews who are Israelites by Benjamin H. Friedman. I'm not sure I want this. I was more interested in the the Russian one. Because this seems more like anti-Semitic literature. And so thus he's an enemy. I don't want anything to do with that. The so-called Jews coined the term anti-Semitism. Oh my god. Christians did, technically. No, Carol. No. I have no interest in that kind of crap. You should know better.